Real quick, real quick, let me bust this down. Say, fam, y'all seen what's going on? Did y'all see Iran attack Israel? Y'all seen that? Say, man, y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up. Because if y'all see World War Three across that screen, or when y'all see that, just know that number been sealed. You out of there, bro. You out of there. All that tough talk y'all been doing, you gonna have to stand on that. Ask any Christian, I challenge any Christian, who wrote the Bible? I've never gotten the right answer since I've asked that question. Every time I ask them face to face, who wrote the Bible? They don't have no idea. They start telling me the the the, the, uh, the apostles' names. You know, they start talking about uh, you know the Judas and 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 John and all these. No, they wrote nothing. Those men were illiterate, man. They couldn't even read or write. You're going to have to stand on that, bro. You don't know what's going on in the world because you out there at the club. You out there living your best life. So you don't know what's going on right now today. God going to catch y'all right in the middle of living your best life. You're going to be fried. You're going to be fried, bro. You're going to be right there at the mall, right there at the club, right there at the juke joint. You're going to be at all them spots when Christ returns. You're not paying attention to nothing that's going on. You don't know what this means when you're saying that. Because you don't know prophecy, bro. You're going to be at church when Christ returns. That's where you're going to be at, bro. Nah, oh my name. What is you going to church for? You ain't learning nothing. You spending money and not learning nothing. You don't even know your tribe, bro. You got to know these things, bro. Christ going to say he never knew you. You know why he going to say he never knew you? Because you never knew him. You don't know his tribe. Just something simple as that. In John 7 and 19, the son of man say, did not Moses give y'all the law? Yet none of you keep it the law. None of y'all keeping the law because you believe you under grace. All you have to do is have faith. That faith not going to get you between them gates, bro. You have to follow the commandments of God to get into the gates to even qualify as an Israelite. As an Israelite, half y'all not going to get in the gates because y'all worried about Esau. You love him so much, he going to leave you down here with him. He going to leave you down here with him. He's smart. He down here building the bunkers. You ain't got no bunker. You ain't got Esau money. You at the bottom of society. So you don't have bunker money, man. You don't have bunker money. But you going to be left down here with him. He going to leave you. He going to go to that bunker. You going to be down here running around scattered. He going to leave you, bro. He going to leave you. You out of there. Y'all worried about Esau. Y'all don't even worry about the Arab man. Y'all don't never say nothing. Well, what about Ishmael? Y'all brainwashed. Y'all fried, bro. Y'all proud, I don't care nothing about them people. Good riddance. Just like how y'all did when OJ died. Y'all was talking about good riddance. That's what I'm going to say. When Esau, Ishmael, Moab, all them people died, I'm going to say good riddance. Good riddance to them people. They never liked you. They never liked you. Good riddance, bro. Man, y'all out y'all mind. You don't even know. You're supposed to be prophesying against these people. You ain't never read that. He never read that to you. You're supposed to be prophesying against them people. They got you in captivity, dummy. Man, y'all is crazy. Bishop Kanad, man, he did a good video yesterday. Y'all need to go watch that, bro. Y'all need to go watch that. Y'all is crazy. Y'all ain't seen that scripture that he broke that. Man, he broke that down. He broke that down. You out here trying to get some money, bro. You out here trying to get rich. You trying to get, you trying to get rich when the scripture say money got wings and pockets got holes, bro. Facts, my nigga. That's why you ain't made it yet. How you in control of your own destiny and you not where you want to be at yet? Explain that. You so much in control of your own destiny, why you not with Beyonce? Or somebody that look like that? Or somebody that's on Instagram, one of them Instagram models y'all following? Why you ain't with one of them? Why you ain't got you a Ari or one of them other ones, whatever they call it? Whatever them. Why you ain't got you one of them? Why you ain't got a billion dollars yet? You in control of your own destiny? And I'm sick of you pastors that's walking around here with them big long suits longer than my car driver side door. I'm sick of y'all, bro. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Niggas get on my page. Boy, them suits be long. Them suits be long. Them, them, them suit jackets they be wearing. Them pastors they be wearing. Boy, I'm talking about long as my right side car driver side door. Boy, suit long. He ain't got no fringes on. Where your guard wear at, man? That niggas be jumping on my page, don't even know how guard wear on. That killed me, bro. You niggas kill me. You old niggas kill me. 
You old pastor niggas kill me, bro. Y'all niggas kill me. That's why you niggas page ain't growing. I be on some of you niggas live. You niggas be having seven people on now. I done seen some of you niggas pages. You niggas be having a hundred followers. Ain't nobody listening to y'all. God is not with y'all. That's why you niggas pages ain't growing. Nigga, I done deleted my page three, four times and started it past you niggas. I just deleted my Facebook page and started another. I'm already at 14K. Nigga, come on, fam. And my page shadow banned on Instagram. I would have been at 100, 200, 300,000 people already. People telling me they can't share my video. That ain't happening to you. God is not with you, niggas. He not with y'all. That's why you niggas' page ain't growing. It's disgusting. Shalom.